Shadoop Shadoop. The conventional way to get water from the pond about two meters up to where the filter is would be to use a submersible pump. But then whoever said you had to be conventional? So here's the Shadoop. Shadoop Shadoop. So after a bit of thought, I came up with this improvisational reconception of the Shadoof. Again, using technology from, from Africa, from Egypt. Shadoofs have been helping to irrigate the otherwise arid banks of the Nile for around 5,000 years. Uh, and it's highly efficient for getting water from here to there. Because, of course, I don't really want to have to use all that much electricity. Why use electricity when we can achieve these same tasks through a little bit of sweat? It's pretty clumsy at first, but once you get the hang of it and you use the uh, counterbalance to leverage, it really doesn't require that much muscle or effort. At the same time, the lost water is helping to water the ferns. So it's kind of win-win. Meanwhile, to assist in the swiftness of time's passage, I've affixed a little phone holder to a nearby tree so I may be entertained as I toil away. Look, I'm no hands. And it's okay. In fact, the primary purpose of the waterfall is to activate water aeration, Angalia. that it may hopefully also be somewhat aesthetically pleasing, uh, is of course also a bonus. I think I can do about 100 to 120 liters per hour. That means that if I do an hour a day, an hour a day keeps the algae away, it'll keep my pond healthy. And it's also a sort of meditative activity. Sometimes I just imagine I'm on the Grand Canal in Venice.